Hey streamers, today you'll be finding out how to allow your regular users to broadcast on your WordPress website via the front end. I'm going to be using the Elementor page builder, but if you're interested in finding out how to do this with the WP Bakery page builder, please click on the link above as we have a video for that as well. And also like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all our content. As you can see, I've installed and activated the WP Stream plugin. And then I'll go to WP Stream Credentials and you can either enter your details if you already have an account or register. After I have registered, I will go back and enter my details and save changes. Once connected, I am going to WP Stream Settings and right under General Options, you can see that you can edit the slug you can also assign the non-admin user role, so editor, author, etc. And you can also pick whether you want them to broadcast on a free or pay-per-view channel. If it's a pay-per-view channel, you can also add a price. Save your changes when you are happy and let's go to plugins. You have to first make sure you have the element or page builder activated. And once active, let's go ahead and get started. So you'll want to create a page. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there that you can use to find out how to create a page on WordPress. But for now, I've already created this page and I will click on edit with Elementor, which is right on top. Click on the plus and the first structure and the plus once again. Now I'm typing WP stream and dragging the start streaming element right over here. Now you will have to either enter a channel or product ID or leave this blank. If you leave this blank, what is going to happen is the first channel associated with this user will get assigned, or if they don't already have a channel, a new channel will be automatically created. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I assign a particular channel. You do this by going to WP Stream Channels and you scroll down to the channel that you want or alternatively create a new free channel. Make sure you check out one of our videos to find out how to do this. But I'm just going to copy this channel ID over here. So the 1094 and I will paste it right into that section. Then I will update the page and go back to see how it looks like. And the next thing I will do is show you how it looks like to a regular user account. So I just created a new account, as you can see. And if I go to the front end live streaming page that was just on, you will see that I am not allowed to broadcast. That's because I don't have permission because I am still a customer. So to change this, I'm going to go to my WordPress admin and change from customer to editor. So to do this, go to your WordPress admin, like I said, and go to users. Here is the latest account. So the account I created and the role is customer, as I said. To change this, click on edit and go to right over here and change from customer to editor. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click on update user. Very important step. And if you go back to the newly created account, so it is now the editor account, you'll see that if you go to the front end live streaming page, you have permission to broadcast and the button appears like so. So let's get started by clicking on start live event. And you can either go live with the browser or with an external broadcaster. I'm just going to be using OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a free pro tool that you can use to broadcast live events. Make sure you click on settings, stream, and add the server and stream key from WP Stream. Simply just copy and paste them right over here in the appropriate sections. After you've done this, go and click on OK and start streaming. If you go back and click on view channel, it will take you straight to the page over here. 
And this is how the video looks like, the live broadcast that your regular user has created and anyone can watch. After they're done with the broadcast, they'll go back to OBS and stop streaming. And this is how it looks like. So in this video, I've showed you how you can allow your regular users to broadcast on your WordPress website with Elementor, Page Builder. You can also check out this video for the WP Bakery Page Builder. I hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you so much for listening.